something might happen when you give the sanction, and that is that the student might go ballistic. You've walked away, that student may jump up, push the desk over, kick a chair over, start shouting at you and start coming towards you. As hard as this is, you stay calm. You ask them to sit down, they probably won't by this stage. They have made their mind up, they're going to get into your personal space and they're going to shout at you. Try your best to stay calm, tip for your own safety. Know your school's procedure for getting help to your class. For getting the on-call person here, or getting a senior member of the leadership team with you, or even your curriculum head, know your school system. Use that system to get that student removed from class. If a student kicks a chair over, or kicks a table over, or moves into your personal space and starts threatening you, try and try and try to talk to them calmly, but you have 29 other eyes now watching what you're going to do with that student. No student can threaten you without proper action being taken. No student can kick chairs over in your class without proper action being taken. No student can kick a table over. No student can swear at you. No student can run around the class. So you have to deal with that. And the way to deal with that is they must leave your lesson. But you've got to try and even do that in a respectful manner. That shouldn't be whisked away. What you've done then to the 29 students, yet again, is you've shown them you know the policies, you've shown no weaknesses, you've kept your dignity, you've kept their respect. This is, that's the hard bit because you will feel threatened. You may even feel frightened and there's nothing wrong with that. But we are still the adults in that situation and the students eventually will realise that that does not happen. Don't think you've failed if you've got a student removed. Don't go home stressed over it that you had to get a student removed because if you've done everything else before right, there isn't really much else you can do. We, we, we've got to repair that damage with that student, but the here and now in your classroom is not the time to do it. So we get the other 29 students in that classroom back on track and we get your engaging and outstanding and inclusive teaching moving on. You have done nothing wrong, but you haven't raised your voice you haven't got into any student space. You haven't intimidated them at all. You've won, won respect. That is quite a difficult technique to master. The best thing I can say really about the whole behaviour issue is that little bit of management, that bit of interaction there, because it is going to happen. You are never ever going to have perfect behaviour within your classroom, but you can deal with it fairly. Students like fairness. Students feel if they're picked on it's not right, it's unjust. You might not be picking on them, they still might perceive it's unjust. Well you've just got to be consistent of how you deal with all the students within your class.